Did you know that deflation is a frightening problem that central bankers fear? It feeds on itself and there is nothing central banks can do to stop it. Deflation happens when prices of goods and services decrease over time and people stop buying because they expect prices to drop even more. This leads to a reduction in demand and ultimately a decline in production, causing more price drops which triggers a vicious cycle. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill and it's tough to stop once it gains momentum. Central bankers dread deflation because it can lead to a deep and prolonged economic depression, which is a nightmare for everyone. So today, let's talk about what central banks fear the most and what financial expert Jim Records think investors should do to protect their assets. Hey friends, welcome to Capitalista. Before we dive in, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. The Federal Reserve is responsible for controlling inflation, but when it comes to deflation, it's a whole different story. Raising interest rates can kill inflation, but it can't stop deflation, which is is a central banker's worst nightmare. The problem with deflation is that it feeds on itself, making it worse and it's nothing essential banks can do to stop it. The Fed has tried different methods such as quantitative easing but it hasn't worked. So while inflation may be controllable, deflation is a more significant challenge that the Federal Reserve struggles to manage. Jim Rickards believe that negative interest rates are ineffective in stimulating the economy. He also argues that the quantitative easing or QE has been tried to the two of $9 trillion, but the empirical evidence shows that it doesn't work. QE involves buying bonds, but the money goes back to the Fed as excess reserves and never reaches the economy, making it extremely useless. According to Rickards, deflation is a severe problem and there's nothing central banks can do to stop it. This issue should be troubling for central bankers, economists, and citizens. During the Great Depression, the US faced a deflation problem and the Federal Reserve was powerless to stop it. However, President Roosevelt found a solution by raising the price of gold, which devalued the dollar and raised the prices of other commodities. This led to an economic boom, and it is one of the few instances where the devaluation of the dollar against gold worked to break the back of deflation. In short, devaluing the dollar against gold can be an effective tool to combat deflation as seen in the past. Moreover, Rickards warns that the US is on the brink of a global recession, which is a rare phenomenon where all economies are declining. The dollar plays a significant role in this, being the benchmark for every other currency and the common thread that runs through the whole global system. As a result, other countries are selling treasury securities to get dollars and bail out their own banking systems. This shortage of dollars is a concern that could potentially cause the global recession to spiral out of control. When it comes to investing, many people think that owning different stocks in the same sector is enough to diversify their portfolio. But that's not the case. Real diversification means combining different asset classes to minimize risk and maximize return. In addition, having diverse asset classes means investing in more than just stocks. It could include treasury notes, real estate, cash, stocks, gold, and private equity. This approach to investing is important because it helps reduce risk by spreading your money across various assets. If one asset class performs poorly, other asset classes may perform better to balance it out. It's like having a diversified team. You wouldn't want your team to consist of only one type of player. You need players with different strengths and abilities to win the game. In short, real diversification means investing in various asset classes, not just different stocks in one asset class to minimize risk and maximize return. Real estate, particularly multifamily housing, residential real estate, and farms are also good investments. Gold is important as it's a hedge against inflation, and private equity is a separate category but a good investment if you can access good deals. Stocks in the energy sector like BP, Exxon, and Shell are good investments but the green new scam is infeasible. An ideal portfolio has five or six asset classes. Some will outform others. Cash is like a thermostat that can be adjusted as needed, reducing cash and buying a little more gold or stocks if warranted. Jim Rickards explains that having cash in a portfolio is important because it performs well in deflation. Asset prices decline when the hedge is experiencing deflation, but the cash value remains constant, making it a reliable hedge. Cash also reduces the volatility of the rest of the portfolio. Acting as a stabilizing force during market fluctuations. Additionally, cash gives the investor optionality, enabling them to take advantage of investment opportunities that may arise during times of market stress. Cash is basically a valuable asset that should not be overlooked in a well-diversified portfolio. As mentioned earlier, stocks in the energy sector such as BP, Exxon, and Shell are good investments. However, Jim Rickards thinks that the Green New Deal is a scam that will not work. He studied science closely 
seriously and believe that it wasn't feasible. While the policy may be a big deal, it won't work in reality. Therefore, he recommends focusing on traditional energy stocks for investing purposes. You see, Jim Rickard suggests that a diverse portfolio is crucial in uncertain times. A good portfolio will include asset classes that perform better in both inflation and disinflation. This means that you shouldn't just invest in one type of asset but rather a mix of different investments such as treasury notes, real estate, stocks, gold, and private equity. The key is to balance out different investments that will perform well in different economic conditions. In addition, cash is an important part of a diverse portfolio because it reduces the volatility of the rest of your investments and give you optionality. Cash can also be adjusted as needed depending on market situations. So if you're looking to invest in uncertain times, it's important to diversify your portfolio and adjust your investments accordingly. So do you agree with Jim Rickards when he says we need to diversify our investment portfolio? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it for this video. Make sure to show your appreciation by giving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. In this way, you'll always be in the loop and never miss out on any of our uploads. Until next time and take care.